On December 11, 2025, Chinese state broadcaster CCTV aired the first publicly released live fire footage of the People's Liberation Army's Type 99B main battle tank. While Chinese media framed the broadcast as a routine milestone in equipment development, the footage signals a deeper shift in how the PLA now views heavy armor. The Type 99B is not being presented as a standalone battlefield platform, but as a digitally connected node within a wider network of sensors, command systems, and precision fires. The timing of the footage is important. Just days earlier, on September 3, 2025, newly unveiled Type 99B tanks led the ground vehicle column during China's Victory Day military parade in Beijing. These vehicles were reportedly drawn from the 112th Combined Arms Brigade of the 82nd Group Army, a formation often associated with rapid response and high readiness missions. In official coverage of the parade, Chinese media described the Type 99B as an evolution of the Type 99A, emphasizing improved all-weather communications, enhanced firepower, and greater maneuverability. This combination points directly to faster targeting cycles, improved coordination with infantry fighting vehicles and unmanned systems, and a higher operational tempo in contested environments. Additional reporting from Chinese and regional sources offers an important geographic clue about the Type 99B's intended role. The tank is described as being optimized for high altitude and cold weather operations, with its design closely linked to sustained combat in areas such as the Himalayan region. These conditions are especially relevant along the China-India border, where thin air, steep terrain, and extreme temperatures place heavy demands on engines, sensors, and crews. In this context, the emphasis on information-based command and integrated firepower suggests that the most significant upgrades are likely found in the tank's digital architecture, data links, and fire control systems, rather than simply thicker armor or a larger main gun. Because detailed technical specifications remain limited, the most reliable reference point remains the established Type 99 family. The Type 99 series is a three-man main battle tank with an autoloader armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun fed by an internal ammunition carousel. Combat weight is generally assessed to be in the low 50-ton range. Later Type 99A variants are believed to incorporate advanced explosive reactive armor, improved gun performance, modern thermal imaging sites, and elements of active protection. Within this lineage, the Type 99B's core promise is not raw firepower alone, but survivability through awareness. In modern armored warfare, better radios, resilient networking, rapid target identification, and faster engagement cycles can be just as decisive as armor thickness. These capabilities are especially critical during night operations, in poor weather, and in electronically contested environments. Online observers and social media sources have speculated about features such as 360 degrees situational awareness systems, AI-assisted targeting, gun-launched missiles, and decoy or soft-kill countermeasures. However, such claims remain unconfirmed and should be treated cautiously until supported by official disclosures or high-quality imagery. Strategically, the Type 99B fits squarely within China's broader military modernization roadmap. Beijing has repeatedly stated its goal of achieving a fully modernized force by the mid-2030s and a world-class military by mid-century. Within this framework, a more connected and resilient heavy tank supports two key missions. The first is deterrence and rapid readiness along sensitive land borders, particularly in mountainous regions where mobility and coordination are critical. The second is credibility in high-intensity combined arms operations, where armored units must operate under constant surveillance and the threat of precision strikes from drones, loitering munitions, and top attack weapons. When viewed alongside Western main battle tank upgrades, the Type 99B appears to follow a similar modernization logic.
The US Abrams M1A2 SEP V3 prioritizes digital networking, power generation, improved armor, and the integration of active protection systems. Europe's Leopard 2 A8 emphasizes modernized electronics and built-in active protection to counter advanced anti-tank threats, while Britain's Challenger 3 focuses on all-weather lethality, upgraded fire control, and digital communications. If Chinese claims about the Type 99B's information-based enhancements are accurate, then China is narrowing the gap in some of the most decisive but least visible layers of armored warfare. Ultimately, the live fire footage aired by CCTV is less about demonstrating a single tank's firepower and more about signaling how the PLA intends to fight future ground wars. The Type 99B represents a shift towards networked armor, faster decision-making, and integration across the battlefield, where survivability depends not just on steel and firepower, but on data, coordination, and speed. This is Mighty Military, bringing you in-depth analysis of the weapons and doctrines shaping modern warfare.